Hello and welcome back to part 19 of Skyward Sword. In this part, we're going to open this little thingy. Make sure I didn't miss it, I actually had to lock on. Uh, ding! My ding was a little delayed, but what ifs? Oh, it's all so nice. What's up, Fee? Are you gonna start dancing? She actually is going to start dancing. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. From the edge of time I guide you, the one destined to carry out the goddess's mission. The spirit maiden who descended from the clouds and passed through the earth's spring will make her way to the fated place. <laughs> we, oui. The parched desert of Nanru. That is where the Chosen will pass through the gate of time into a distant world. Oh my god. A gate of time! Him. <laughs> the statue's just like, here you go! <laughs> now don't drop it, Billy. Do you imagine if I just dropped it, broke it? Ah, oh, shit! Now I have to walk, since I'm already on the surface. A tee -hee. <laughs> That was a really bad butthead impression. Cool. Now what? Oh, thanks. You're gonna talk to me again? Master Link, it appears that Zelda has cleansed herself of the waters in the fountain. Based on the information from the message I imparted, I project that traveling to a region known as Lanyaru. You did say that, didn't you? If you transport this tablet back to the statue in Skyloft, a new column of light will appear and allow you to travel to the Lanyaru region. Lanyaru. I, I just can't say that right. I suggest you return at once to Skyloft. Okay. Okay. Just be back by bedtime. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I want to save. I don't want to quit, though. I ain't no quitter. Eh, just walk out of here. To the sky, statue! Take me away, a secret place. Oh, God. You know, I say that I'm not going to sing in playthroughs, and then I just do shit like that, and songs pop in my head when I see stuff happen, and bad stuff happens. Okay, so before we actually go place this, we're going to do one of these side missions to get us ready for a whole buttload of collecting, which I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to complete, but just in case I happen to find some, I will do those. And by this, what I mean is I'm going to... If, if you remember the pumpkin dude, he gave us one quest where we had to, like... Or actually, no, it was, it was that girl. She's way up there, and she's, like, looking for her kid. And then we went and talked to the dude at the pumpkin house, and he said, Oh, well, the kid is somewhere in the graveyard because... By this old legend, children are taken away by this creature from the dark. So now we have to go sleep. Oh, that, oh, that's a bathroom. <laughs> hey, this is a this is a good opportunity to show off the toilet. <laughs> there is no goddamn toilet near. Just a bath. Okay, all done with that. Wow. Nice. Link doesn't use the washroom. Is this my bedroom? Zelda. Zelda? You mean- Oh, I was like, you mean her room was next to mine the entire time and I didn't know? Damn it. Why does she live on the top floor? Looking down on us bottom feeders. This is my room. Link. Where's the toilet? Fledge. Hey yo, where's the toilet? I need to take a crap. Groose. Ah, I should go in there and sabotage his room. Of course he lives across, you know, the whole thing from me. 
Boy, my room got so much bigger! Why does it feel like it's huge now? How long do you want to sleep? Until night. <laughs> nice. Are oh, you sleepy? Sleepy Link. Alright, cool. Now let's... Let's do this. We need to go to the graveyard and push the gravestone, I think, near... Oh, yeah. We need to push the gravestone. Okay, you're gonna lock me out. But not cool, man. Anyways, we need to push the gravestone closest to the tree. Which apparently is in the graveyard. Which is on the other side of Skyloft. Yeah. Wow. It's like so quiet at night. I don't get that. There's no music, there's no nothing, it's just... It's just... Oh god, I don't want to throw that. No. Okay, get, get off me. God, are you serious, dude? Get off. So the graveyard is... Heck no. All the way down here. Kind of near this pillar of light. Oh god, it's the kitty! Die, kitty. I mean, this is a real sword now, dude. I'm not playing. I ain't playing. Well, I see a tree and a gravestone nearest the tree. I need to move. Oh. Wham! What's this? Um, okay. Dude, I'm unleashing a freaking fury on this. Oh, okay. Get it, get it. It's okay, everybody. Weird. Dude, there's like a whole underground map. Can I just leave? Whee! All the way down. Why don't you just slide, Link? It's a lot more efficient. Heh. <laughs> and now not to fall. Heh. 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 Yeah, I, I could fall. Eek! In we go. Oh my god. Oh my... Oh my god, he's so... Ugly. Rawr. You don't scare me. <laughs> Do you know the stuff that I've seen? Yeah. Stare, please, I beg of you, don't hurt me. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I know how bad this must look right now, but I assure you that I mean no harm. We were just playing a scream as loud as you can game. I don't believe you. Isn't that a fun game? Oh dear, perhaps an explanation is in order. My name is Brutrix, and I'm a monster who resides in the humble dwelling of Skyloft. But please, allow me to correct my popular misconception. While I'm certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit here, I've felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart only wishes to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But as you can surely imagine, it is proven quite difficult to break the ice when you're struck with a paralyzing fear of a mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart more than the joy of friends and the fine people of this town. But as soon as you try to approach them, would you extend a claw of friendship? They run and scream, and they start walking nightmare. Blah. Oh, silly, silly me. I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there's an old tale among the monstrous king of the forest. I'm kidding, like, I don't even know what I'm reading anymore. It seems that when the human makes other human happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as a gratitude crystal. Gratitude crystals are quite amazing. 
just look at them and you're knowing that the great gratitude of the world can turn them from a monster into a human. Oh goodness, nothing would delight me more than to become a human. From the moment I laid eyes on, I laid my regrettable demonic eyes on you, I could tell that there was a gentle and generous heart. Won't you please gather the gratitude crystals and show them to me? Sure! Truly, you helped me! I've heard that you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. They could only be merely lying around here in Skyloft or elsewhere among the clouds. Anywhere for find, anywhere you find people. I'm sure someone with a heart of pure and genuine as yours will be able to see them. Please, solve some troubles and gather me gratitude crystals you can find. Any help you can provide would be dearly appreciated. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. Can I have the girl back? <laughs> Great, so this basically replaces the golden skatulas, or skatulas, whatever you want to call them, um, in Ocarina of Time with these new grat gratitude crystals. And ironically, that w which is a nice tactic, I thought, that they put the... You, in order to get the gratitude crystals, you have to help people solve their troubles. So you basically have to side, do all the side quests um, and or find them lying around. I think... I think I saw a video somewhere where there was one of the gratitude crystals over here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure, however. I could just be like... Uh, okay. I could just be like, lying. But I think there's one up here somewhere. I, I feel that there is. I think it's around this corner over here. Up the ladder! Get up the ladder! Hmm. Yep, there's one. You got one gratitude crystal. Overwhelming feelings of thankfulness. You could collect all these and show them to Brutrix. One. Cool dog. Cool. Now time to go back to bed. But oh, what's that? <gasps> Butterfly. Butterfly. Hey, yo, but hey, no, butterfly. Come here, butterfly. Yeah. Cool, so we got that. I might just cut to daytime, I don't even know. No! Go away, stupid little cat. Piss me off. Oh my god, look at all these things. Leave me alone. Wait, what? What am I? S Zelda's apparently that away. Oh come on! I have to go through the top. This guy's walking around like no problem. It's dangerous out. It's nice to so be careful. This area is on patrol. And night monsters are really active around here. The duty of the night is to protect the public in danger. How admirable! Admirable nonsense! It's a bare minimum of what the people expect from us. We knights are in training, and this is what knights do. That's the Pippet way. This is what it means to be a knight. I'm sure you'll understand what it feels like one day, too, Link. Dude, I go in dungeons. I do so much more than you patrol that. I'm not even gonna start. I don't get it. Why is the bottom one locked, but not the top one? I mean, I, I get, like, why, like, in the game it would make sense, but that, that's just there to, like, annoy the crap out of me. Make me go places that I don't really want to go, like upstairs and then back downstairs. Back to my room. It's so cozy. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, there's another one in here. Till morning. Wait, wait, I don't, I don't want to do anything yet. Gimme. Wow. We have two now. I didn't even know that that one was actually there. Two. I want to sleep until morning. That would be great.
Okay, so... Let's see, I think we need to go... Huh. I'm actually gonna go look at the bazaar first and see if there's any stuff that I can, like, buy and or purchase that could help me out. Because... or upgrade anything. Because right now I'm pretty undergeared. Maybe I'll talk to that one guy who flies around his little ship. Forget what it's called. Let's see if I can hit it from all the way over here. Nope. Put down your hair! Where is it? Where is it now? Where is it? Where is it? Give me that. Grab. Wow, this takes forever. Up we go! Yeah. Wow, man, this guy operates this whole thing by just pedaling it. That sucks ass. What's all this then? Ah! This guy's wearing a no shirt. 800 rupees. <laughs> I'm looking for like a bigger bomb bag or like a bigger something. What's this? It's extra wallet. It's amazingly useful. Like this, you can carry an extra 300 rupees in your wallet. Say goodbye to all those old times you can't pick up other rupees because your wallet's stressed and full. No rupee left behind. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh yeah, plus 300. Thank you! You're welcome, pal. I don't care about that, that's just another medal. And the other one's just uh, another thing to hold my stuff, another pouch. Which I don't need because I need bottles to get potions and stuff, which I don't have any of. Um, now whatever, this way. Whichever way works. Let's see, I'll talk to you first. Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop! Upgrade. <laughs> That's it, all your items, I can upgrade them right now. Can you upgrade this? No. Two monster claws. Oh my god, I don't have any of this stuff. Holy crap. Never mind. Hold on now, you can't change your mind. He's like the Bill Cosby of this world. Dude, back off. Give me some space. Freaking weirdo. Get out of here. I want a bow. What's all this? Next, bigger bomb bag. What's that? What is this? Small seed satchel. With your pouch, you can carry 10 additional seeds. That's 100 rupees. No. I love that face. <laughs> That's quite alright, friend. I've got a few other things and fine items in stock. I guess I just need this. That wonderful potion completely stops your stamina g Oh, no, 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 I don't want this one. I thought the green one was health. I'm retarded. Scoop. <gasps> Scoop. Sure. I can't just steal, huh. It's not like Mass Effect where I have a choice. No problem, girl. I'll be back when my health is low and I need stuff. Hmm. Oh, look at all the butterflies! Okay, now back up to the top.
We need to go this way. No, I didn't say let go. Did I say let go? I said nothing! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. And up we go. And then we go. Not much to talk about inside the goddess. <laughs> The goddess. The statue of the goddess. This is our last little piece that we have to put in before we can fully explore every place. Hmm. Reminds me of a desert. I wonder why. Swam. Bling! Wow, that was so off on that. Mm, bling! It's yellow. I've confirmed the location of the third opening in the cloud barrier in the sky of the southwest. It will allow you to reach a new area on the surface. I suggest going there as soon as you suitably paired. prepared. Now the question is, am I suitably prepared? Well... I guess I have to ask myself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do I? Tonk. Well, I guess we'll see in part 20. I'll see you guys then. Peace out. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and like this video.